Hi volunteers, so now I'm going to talk about the kennels and getting in and out of the kennels. Um, so the kennels that we have inside, if you, they, their latch here actually lifts up. So you can actually put the, push the kennel door in to get in. Um, this particular one, you have to uh, pull it out to get in. But the idea is that when I want to get into a kennel, I usually throw a tree and I throw the tree to the back. So I'll show the dog the tree so that it knows that there's a tree because sometimes they're just so concerned with other things and they're excited to get out. So you actually have to show the dog the tree, let the dog smell the tree, and then throw it to the back and, and use the word back. So they go to the back. That gives you the opportunity to step into the kennel without the dog in the front. And when it works, it works really well. But some dogs are not treat motivated, or even if they are, they're so excited to get out this door that they might not go for the treat, which is okay. But again, um, when it does work, it works really well. So if I feel treated and I step in, of course I have to shut the kennel door behind me. But what I do, I don't stand at the front of the door to leash up the dog. I actually go towards the back of the kennel. Now this is a really large kennel, so I'm not gonna go all the way back, but the idea is I'm gonna move away from the door to leash up my dog. I hold the leash like this so it's nice and rounded. And I'm gonna be in the kennel. So let's say most of the kennels, they end about right here. I put a treat here so the dog puts his head right into the leash. And then I'm able to uh, uh, tighten the stopper while I'm over here. I'm not doing it in the front of the door so that when I do go to the door with my dog leashed, I'm gonna have my body where I'm coming out of the door and not the dog. So versus if you try to leash your dog at the door and then when you go to open it, the dog's gonna try to get ahead of you. So you use your body, you make sure that you have uh, full control of your dog. You're gonna keep your, always have one hand in the loop and then you step out first because there could be other dogs passing by. You can have visitors in the hallway passing by. Sometimes dogs get loose and you don't want to be having your dog get out ahead of you while there's a loose dog in the kennel. So this is the best way to try to get a dog out. Now, there are some dogs that are real, uh, large dogs that like to jump and they can be overwhelming when you're in the kennel and they're jumping on you. And some of them are really reactive, so they get more frustrated easily. And they might have a tendency to get frustrated while you're in the kennel, trying to leash the dog up. It refuses to keep still or take a treat through the leash hoop. Instead, it's jumping on you and running around. Now for a dog like that, I probably, uh, I reckon I recommend Probably not getting in the kennel to leash up that way. But for most dogs, that's how you want to start off. So it's important to review the dog as far uh, as what works best. So a very active dog that I might not feel comfortable getting in the kennel because I think he's going to get frustrated too easily. Or he's going to try to overpower me by jumping on me and just, you know, I won't be able to get his attention at all. For a dog like that, I'm gonna put my foot on the kennel door and then I will try to leash it up um, towards the bottom. So I'm not gonna leash the dog while it's jumping up on the kennel door. I'm gonna wait until it has all four feet on the floor and then leash it up that way. And I'm gonna control the door with my foot um, you always have to be careful because uh, trying to take a dog out this way, many times they're going to get away from you. So uh, do the approach. Uh, if the dog's pushing way too hard, you're just going to close the door and then you're going to step away, come back in five minutes. The ideal also is that you don't want to reinforce bad behavior. So if the dog's just jamming at the door and you know even maybe tries to nibble your hand while you're trying to leash, um, you need to let the dog know that's not okay and you do that just by leaving, come back in five minutes, give it another try.
Um, so that's the best way for those type of dogs. Now for those type of dogs also, if you're gonna take a dog out that's really active that way, make sure that while you have the dog out that you're working on sit because that's gonna help you when you're trying to leash up the dog the next time in the kennel, because you're gonna have your dog sit for you. And if it gets up from the sit, then you're gonna close the door. The dog sits again, you open the door. So the reward is not a treat. The reward is opening and shutting the door. So a dog stays sitting, you get to leash it up. If it's jumping, you close it, step back, the dog figures, oh, I better sit, it sits back down, and then you go to open it, it stays in the city, you leash it up, it gets rewarded for that sit, gets to go for the walk. So you can teach a dog a lot of things just by getting in and out of the kennel. It should never, it takes, I know it takes a lot of time, but it should never be, oh, I just wanna get that dog out to the kennel, I just wanna rush it to the yard. Because every time you interact with a dog, you're teaching it something. So you can actually teach it to sit uh, when you're leashing up. You can teach it to wait using the door. So as you keep continuing to work with the dog, you can use uh, commands like wait. So once your dog knows how to sit, you can actually, once it's sitting, it knows that command because you've been working with it. You can say wait. And if the dog tries to get up or gets up from the sit, pushes on the, on the door, you shut it. You do wait again. And your dog will learn if you practice with it, wait. The dog won't move. You'll be able to open the door and leash the dog up in a sit position uh, and with the weight. So that's our goal is to be able to have dogs that are well managed. And also to show that to potential adopters that the dog knows how to sit and the dog knows how to wait. You'll be seeing more videos coming on how to train your dog away from the kennel, um, how to sit, how to wait, how to get permission to get up from a sit. So those are uh, more videos to come. The next video I'm gonna show you actually me taking dogs in and out of the kennel. But thank you for joining.